Good morning. Sorry if my voice sounds kind of raspy or dry or whatever. I just woke up. Well, not technically just woke up, but it's still the morning. So I'm not fully, fully, you know, into my routine yet. But um, I just figured, oh, my heater just turned off. But I figured I would film another video. Um, and this one, I think I'm going to do... I don't know how to describe it like I don't I was trying to think of like because I know what I want to talk about but I don't know like a health update I feel like this is like the actual life update like the one I what I should have been talking about you know because like yeah moving around and you know car accident stuff um okay but like this is actually like day-to-day -day, like life update so maybe I'll do that like day-to-day -day update I don't know something i'll figure it out but yeah so i'm just gonna brush my teeth wash my face and then come back and sit down and um talk about what i want to talk about so see you there bye okay i'm back i had to take a little smoke break after i washed my face because i was feeling a little nervous when it came to filming again even though i was pretty okay for the intro I don't know like actually sitting down instead of just being like you know in your face it's a little different because I get self-conscious of how I look which I shouldn't because I mean I can't really change much <laughs> without either one going under a knife or getting injections and I just that's, I'm too young for that shit so I have to accept who I am and here I am so I wanted so to share my skincare routine what I've been using lately because I've been noticing a big difference in my skin may not seem like it because I do have some scars and minor breakouts but you know that happens every month you know so. trying to be adamant on creating like a good routine for myself one that works for me and I don't feel like too pressured to continue but um, my esthetician in Minnesota actually recommended these products and she like loves them she raves about them so of course you know I had to get them because I mean, who, if you don't trust your esthetician, why do you go to her? Because it's so pretty popular right now. But Jen Marini, the skincare management system. I have the normal slash combination skin one because I don't really have dry skin like that. Um, especially not in humidity over here. Like, it's kind of impossible for your skin to be pretty dry. Uh, system, it comes with five different products. Um, a cleanser, a serum a little face lotion and their actual like face cream and an SPF. I got it from the derm store instead of through my esthetician because um, the derm store was having like a 20% off sale on all Jan Marini. So I was like, I mean, of course, because it, it, that shit's expensive, first of all. It was so expensive. The derm store gave me like a little pouch of like products. I had like 18 different things in it, but I gave majority of it to my mom because, I mean, I just got a whole routine, so I don't really need to incorporate too much more into it. However, the system doesn't come with an eye cream or anything like that, so luckily, the little pouch that they sent has an eye cream. And I've tried this brand before. It's Eminence Organic Skincare. I've tried their stuff before. I think I've had a face wash by them, maybe twice, two different ones, and a face mask. But yeah, I haven't I haven't tried them in like years, honestly. And it's the Neroli Age Corrective Eye Serum, which I mean, oh, sorry, is it working? Yay! Um, yeah. Anyway, I have that, <laughs> and I also got the Duality from Jan Marini. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this because my esthetician is like, she's like, holy grail, 10 out of 10, this is it. So I'm like, okay, let me, let me get it. Um, and I'm really excited to use it. It's like a dual pump. It has benzoyl peroxide and retinol. So you do like a full pump of each and put it on your face. So I'm excited. Uh, and then also I have a little bit left of my face reality gentle face cleanser. Let me see. There it goes. Um, yeah, a little bit left. I need to get another one. Or I want to ask her if there's any other brands that she likes. Just, you know, you know, spice it up. Try something different. But if it's not broke, don't fix it. So I might just get a new one. 
yeah that's that as far as like face so i'll show you kind of up close more and yeah super happy i do need to wax my mustache or get it plucked and my eyebrows too but i'll do that when i go back to arizona because i don't know i'm also very picky about that However, my face, hair, and just my hair in general grows super fucking fast, so I don't really have much to worry about as far as, like, if they mess it up, because it'll come back super quick. But, anyway, on to a different topic. I know in my last video, I was saying how big of a phobia I have for bugs, and there's a little farmer's market about 15 minutes away from my mom's house that has, like, a bunch of natural products, and... They have this bug repellent, so I was like, you know, let me give it a try, let me see. And it's plant-based. And it says deep free. I don't know what that means. I kind of want to look it up now, but yeah. It kind of smells like, like ginger. So they have a little QR code. I'm gonna scan it after this and see what the ingredients are because I have yet to do that. I should, I should have done that before I bought it, but you know, whatever. And also, something I've been incorporating new into, like, my daily routine and trying to be really, really, really adamant about it is dry brushing, especially before I shower. It's, like, I think from Target. Yeah, I got it when I was living in Minato Min Minnetota. <laughs> when I was living in Minnetota, I got that and, like, a little hand one for the shower, which was really good, actually. It was, like, a, um, a black mat. It was volcanic something i don't know i definitely want to get it again though because that shit felt like it was ripping your skin off but it was really nice because it exfoliated me really really good but like i try not to use soaps from the store like drug stores or anything like that like also at the farmer's market they have um this goat milk soap so fabian has been getting those and i've been using them as well so i really like those those are nice. They've been really moisturizing, I feel like. They do clean, but I feel like it's not too stripping like the Castile soap is. Because Castile soap, you can use it to mop your fucking floor. So why are you going to use it to wash, to wash your body? You know, I feel like that's just a little too much. Like, I don't know. Even if you dilute it, I feel like it's still too much. For years now, I've been using this. Well, she changed her brand recently, but it used to be called Earth Mama Medicine. I've been using her Yoni Steam you know look it up if you want just in case if there's men watching i doubt they want to hear about it but you know regardless fuck it i mean they should be educated as well mm. yeah like it really helps with like menstrual cramps with just regulating your um cycle in general like it's really really good um good for pms pcos you know Pretty good. There's so many different ways you can do it, but the idea is that you sit and you squat over the steam and the steam goes up and it like just helps you. So that was pretty shitty ex um, explanation. But like I said, you know, feel free to look it up. I'm not a holistic practitioner or a nutrition, not nutritionist that has nothing to do with it. But you know what I mean? Like I'm not like um, a certified healer yet i recommend it's really really good for you uh so yeah but she just changed her her branding because her name is valadia so she just changed it to valadia organica and i think that is so cute but yeah 10 out of 10 recommend and also from her brand i recently got this uh balance back let me see it's working it's really good if you go on her website she talks about all the different things that it's pretty good for so yeah i thought i'd give it a try and interestingly enough i had a toothache for like about a week now and i just used this yesterday because i just got these in the mail yesterday i just used this yesterday um twice and i woke up this morning and my tooth pain was like like barely any compared to what it was so that's awesome i'm really happy about that um yeah, and it was like my, my wisdom tooth. I don't know if it's growing in or what, but it was hurting, so this helped. Um, that was nice. Also, as far as like daily routine in the shower, I don't, <laughs> I don't know 
I don't know if you guys know, but, um, I'm sure you do, but, like, shampoo and conditioner are, like, not very good for your hair, so I don't shampoo and conditioner my hair anymore. I use the, um, what the fuck is it called? I know it's, like, mega brain fart, but that clay, you know, that you use for your face, like, you can use it for, like, a face mask with apple cider vinegar. Well, I use that mixture on my head now instead of on my face because it's a little too strong for my face. I use it on my head and I rinse it out with apple cider vinegar and water. And yeah, it's made a mega difference on my hair. Like not only with um, the growth, but how it feels. Like it feels a lot softer. It's more shiny. So I'm really happy about that. And for my birthday, my mom ordered me the herbs and oils that I need to make my hair growth oil. So I'm so, 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 so excited for that. I'm very excited um, because this, you know, it's only temporary. The only reason why it's so short right now is because I went to a hair salon to cut my hair instead of doing it myself. And needless to say, a man cut my hair and turned me into a boy. So I, you know, took it upon myself to do the rest. <laughs> And I went short again, and it was like a month ago, and it's grown so much since. So yeah, it's going to come back eventually. But luckily, I have no problem with being bald, quote-unquote, or having short hair. So yeah, sometimes I feel more myself when I have short hair. But yeah. Anywho, if you haven't ever heard of the apple cider vinegar thing that I said for your hair, I recommend that you look it up or try it for yourself and you can also put that clay in your bath like if you're gonna take a bath it's really good for you to take a bath in that too put a little bit of even if you put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in your bath so i've heard i haven't tried it so let me just hold on i heard you can also put it in your bath i've seen people do it but i have yet to do it so you know do what you want with that i've also been trying to write down what i've been eating throughout the day um, Fabian said I should so it can kind of like pinpoint so I can't remember what the heck I was telling him was wrong but see that's another thing I really just need to start journaling more and writing down because like I said I have a pea brain lately so I need to really write down everything so I can go back and you know find the problem fix it just trying to fix like my gut bacteria because I know that it's just like or it was out of whack for so long and now it's finally like I feel like I'm I'm getting to a place where I'm understanding my body more you know like I'm over here with my mom and at the farmer's market they have raw cow's milk and it's unpasteurized and homogenized homogenized it doesn't have hormones I, I can't remember off the top of my head like what actually is the word for it but yeah, so I started not really drinking it, but like using that brand's like yogurt and stuff like that because it was just like raw cow's milk and like the cultures that they make yogurt with. So I started incorporating that and kefir into my diet and that alone I feel like made a mega difference in itself and I started eating a lot more vegetables again because I, I don't know what happened like for a good while, I was, like, vegan, but not really vegan. Like, I was just, like, kind of vegetarian, I guess. Well, I don't know. I just started eating meat again, and that just took me the complete other heel, you know? Like, I was just eating so bad, like, nothing but really meat and potatoes and shit like that. And that, it's okay, but excessively, it's not okay. Like, just meat and carbs, that's not okay. Like, my body just can't handle it, you know what I mean? So... Um, moving over here, I just really wanted to take my diet more seriously and my health more seriously. And I, I feel like I'm succeeding at it, you know, like I'm, I'm finding my groove, figuring out what is best for me. Um, so yeah, yeah you know, just doing my research, trying to take care of myself because I mean, I only got one body. It's not like I can transfer into a fucking other one in this lifetime. So, you know take care of it while you can and yeah and that brings me to exercising as well like I've really been taking my 
um, fitness journey a lot more seriously, especially when I was in Minnesota. I, I loved going to the gym. Like it was, oh my gosh, it was such a, a good escape, you know, like it was amazing. And then moving over here, they don't have our gyms in the town that my mom lives in. So I haven't been to the gym since like the end of July and it's now middle of September. So that's almost about it. I have about like two other things that I wanted to talk about and that's about it. Um, along with my skin clearing up, like it, like it, it motivates me or I don't know, like having clear skin, I like to put makeup on clear skin versus like having pimples and like stuff like that because it just, on my skin, I feel like foundation just never really covers it or obviously it's not going to cover texture, but like my scars and stuff, like I feel like I never had um, a good makeup routine for my face, you know, I have never had it down, I feel like, so I just gave up and I have but like pretty much the only makeup I wear is like my eyes like right here in this area so I don't wear like complexion makeup which I don't really necessarily need it but it's nice it's it's fun to wear you know but I get discouraged whenever I do have acne or whatever so yeah now that my skin is clearing up I wanted to try the new Glossier foundation that just came out because it just looks so pretty so, and I don't know I'm gonna look it up see if I want to actually get it and also the Charlotte Tilbury um, Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm not sure if it's foundation or not if it's primer. like... But just, you know, like something that like enhances your foundation. Um, yeah, I want to try that too. I figured out my shade in that because also with the Derm Store, I got like a little sample. Oh, no, no, no. With my Sephora order. I recently got a glycolic acid because I wanted to use it to like detox my armpits um, because I don't use deodorant anymore either, fun fact. Um, so luckily I don't have to be around people because fuck, it was really bad for a minute there. So that's why I had to get that so it can like uh, kill the bacteria under my armpits, you know, because I had to because I just, I can't, it doesn't help. It doesn't help me, um, so I don't use it anymore. I use that after I shower. Like, I just use it for the first time. I think you're supposed to use it, like, twice a week or once a week. So, yeah. And I dilute it with water because I also read that if you just put it straight on there, it's a little too sensitive. Like, the area and the skin is too sensitive for the glycolic acid. Big changes. I, oh, man, in just, like, two months. It's crazy. But I'm very proud of myself. Very, very, very grateful and glad that I'm, like, in this moment, in this journey. And, like, I'm being as present as I can be or trying to because that's also very hard, you know? Just, I don't know, just being overly stimulated, I feel like it's very hard to be present in the moment. But, I don't know. I also wanted to talk about how fulfilling it is to actually do something that you wanted to do for so long and stick to it and regardless of nerves or confidence you're actually doing it you know what I mean and I don't know I'm just very proud of myself very grateful for myself for everything I'm just super super happy and I think I'll just cut it on that note because I'm reaching that 30 minute mark and that's gonna be a bitch to edit so yeah uh, excuse my cussing in this video. Sorry, I just felt a lot more comfortable. <laughs> um, that's another habit that I want to cut is my cussing. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.